after Zanbon comes up to you and says, Danielle, there has been a mix up. I'm sorry, but you'll have to do dental school all over again. Would you do it? No. No. Okay. Not in a million years. <laughs> Mix up and I'm sorry, but you'll have to do dental school all over again. Would you do it? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> right. no. Definitely not. Oh God, no. Uh, there has been a mix up. You got to do dental school all over again. Uh, Would you do it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. If you were to do dental school over again, would you do it? Well, I'm already doing it again. So. <laughs> okay, I guess that answers that. Yeah. What does CPU stand for? No Critical performance <laughs> unit? I don't know. CPU stands for? CPU. Certified. No. Can't. No. Okay. no. <laughs> um, what does CPU stand for? Clinic computer unit with P in there. Okay. <laughs> CPU? Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to know. What do you stand for? Oh. That's a tough one. I have no idea. Computer, I think. Okay. It's a computer processing unit. All right. What was your greatest moment in dental school, Nicholas? Breaking off these four teeth on this removal cast. I can see how that would be wonderful. So okay. just um, <laughs> don't, don't even mind me. What? Uh, oh, is this? Who is this? Stop! Don't take films. We're we're all disheveled right now. This isn't the time to take a film. So, uh, so my my first question was, um, what was your greatest moment in dental school? I don't know. I had a lot of good moments. There was a Dalai Lama, the Everclear concert, which you to be joined, but I mean, that was for me. Well, Lania, I'll be getting interviewing you next. So just hold on a sec. <laughs> What was your greatest moment in dental school? Mm, it's a toss-up. There was the Everclear concert, which was extremely stimulating, but there was also the Dalai Lama. We did go to that fun rodeo. I had a lot of firsts in dental school, so that was fun. Um, what was the greatest moment in dental school? We had the class picnic, and then we had a tug of war, and the second floor proved to the first floor that's that's where it's at. We got the, the biggest muscle, the brains, we got everything here. Second floor rules. I agree. What was your greatest moment in dental school? I'm hoping it didn't come yet. Oh. It's going to be graduation. Correct. What was your greatest moment in dental school? Oh my god, the first day of dental school when they sat us alphabetically and I was next to Danielle and it was the birth of cohort -ness. Your greatest moment in dental school? Um, Maybe when Peter Quinlan set his hair on fire in the B-28. Who would you take with you on a deserted tropical island from our class? Moses. Moses. And leave him there. <laughs> and come back. Who would you take with you on a deserted tropical island? I would take Samira. Samira. Okay. And Kenny. Kenny. For entertainment. Okay. And probably a few others, just sprinkled others. in. Just sprinkled in. Who would you take with you on a deserted tropical island? Definitely Ronnie. Um, who would you take with you on a deserted tropical island? Dr. Violet Horacity. We'd make lots of babies. Do you have a dental fantasy? <laughs> um, who would you take with you on a deserted tropical island? Um, I would actually, I've, I've thought about this one and uh, Peter Moses. Uh, because if we had to resort to cannibalism, I think I could survive for quite a while um, with, uh, with Peter Moses as my other. Okay. Do you have a dental fantasy? Um, hmm. Sexual fantasy? Do, do you have a dental fantasy? What ah. are these questions? I should have read the whole list. Dental fantasy? Do you have a dental fantasy? Dental fantasy? Yeah. Probably 32 unit crown bridge uh, case. Oh, Implant. No. Integrated. Uh, Everything together. Super fantasy. Okay. All right. How would you define professionalism? Professionalism? Yeah. Uh, anything you do that doesn't get you in trouble. Can you define professionalism for me? No. No. I couldn't define it when I got here, and I can't define it now. <laughs> um, 
Define professionalism. I did that once in the interview. I can't do it again. Define professionalism. Uh, Jason Henderson. Okay. <laughs> so how would you define professionalism? Uh, according to Dr. Maggio, things people don't see. Uh, are you okay with that or whatever? Okay. So good, good. I don't like that question either. Define professionalism. It's like clinical productivity units. <laughs> Just speaks for itself. All right, what will you be doing in 10 years? Um, inspired by Chuck Dibble, I'm lucrative practice diagnosing and treating snaggletooth. <laughs> <laughs> Any message that you'd like to tell us? Class of 2008, it's been a great time. It was tough. Um, but good luck to all of you. Any words of wisdom or memorable sound bites? Um, hello, Trav. <laughs> Russian plus scoops. <laughs> Any words of wisdom or memorable sound bites you wanna you can replicate? Don't go to dental school. <laughs> Wait for our class. Yeah. Is there any words of wisdom or sound bites that you can uh, replicate or pass on? Um, it ain't rocket science, folks. Yeah, and is there any like words of wisdom uh, you like to pass on to the next generation? Um, vote for me in 2042. <laughs>